Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be playing a game called Paranormal Entities. Uh, the game description reads for it. You are Cliff, a college student who is a brand new freelance cameraman for a show with Paranormal Entities, the second rated ghost investigation show on the hunting and outdoors cable network. You have been hired to inspect the St. Augustine Asylum for the mentally ill. You will go into this facility, follow the uh, producer's instructions for a radio earpiece, keep your camera on and try to make contact with the spirits inside. If nothing happens, you will get $500 for your time. If you manage to get some amazing footage of real paranormal activity on your camera. Oh, if you manage to get amazing footage of a real paranormal activity on your camera. Without further ado, if you guys aren't following me on Twitch, I stream Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, so make sure you guys check us out there. Link is down below in the description. Let's get on with the game. All right, Clint, uh, Cliff, 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 welcome to the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. My producer Tom said good things about you. In your backpack is a flashlight, a voice recorder, an EMF, and a couple of little fun occult things. We'll let you know when to take those out. Ready to pay off some of those college debts and beer debts? I am indeed. Of course you are. And when you're ready, enter in through those front doors. Okay. Let's enter through the front doors then. Nice. The door was unlocked. Ah, it can get a little sticky sometimes. So here's the story behind the St. Augustine's Asylum for the Mentally Ill. It was founded in the 1880s, closed in the 1960s, when a lot of nasty stuff happened. This place is only supposed to house around 500 patients, but at its peak, it was around 3,300 patients in here. I mean, the place was, you know, less of a hospital and more of a place where you dropped your problems off and hope they disappeared. This is where the 100 hallways patients would convene, and we heard that the patients pre-1920 actually received decent care. Then the war hit, then the depression hit, and then the budgets all fell apart. The room you stand in once healed 20 patients in need of attention, and by the end, 150 patients would pass through this room, naked, starving, attacking each other at random, okay. playing themselves with metal wires from their bed. Be careful where you step. Okay, all right. Oh. Alright, this is a good place to start. I want you to take out your voice recorder and I'll hopefully be able to awaken this place. Okay. Okay, spirits of St. Augustine, please reveal your presence to us. Show us that you are in this room. Feel free to interact with anything or speak to us. Use your words, use your voice, and let us know that you're here. Okay, play that back. Uh, let's try here then. Alright, alright, let's try this. Ghosts of St. Augustine, please let us know that you are still in this hospital. I give you permission to reveal yourself. I give you permission to come to life. Just give us a sign that you are here. Tell us where you are. Speak to us now into this microphone. Alright, check that. Now into this microphone. Alright, let's try one more spot. Uh, this spot? Okay. Ghosts of St. Augustine, you're all a bunch of ghoulish pricks. Show <laughs> up or piss off! <gasps> Don't say that! Our investigation in the other gathering area. 
More cool way, okay. More cool way. Oh god. Um Okay. Is this it? Yep, this is it. Okay, of the four areas you need to visit to fulfill your contract, the East Social Area is the first on the list. This is the area where the inmates who were deemed a danger to society would convene. You'll go to this room and perform a summoning ceremony. So walk into the center and we will begin. Oh, lovely. He came here to the legal loopholes, and when the facility went off the rails and the doctor stopped caring, he jumped into action. The patients who didn't listen were tortured, and the ones who did wandered around the facility, blind, screaming, and in constant fear. This door's locked, too. Hmm. Let's just start the ceremony. Uh, let's land here, then. Okay. Oh! Excuse me. What the fuck? Don't just stand there. Go, go check it out. Oh. Oh. God. Okay, I'm going. It's locked. Crap. Oh, okay, we need it. Let's go get something to pry this door open. Go back downstairs. I, I bet you there was something downstairs we could probably use. downstairs then oh my god oh.
Oh god, hello. Oh my god, I don't like this. Uh, which door? Where am I going? Hold on. Too confused. Um, this way. So confused. Okay, it's not that door. Where is it then? Great. It's great. It's great. Love it. Mouse is going off the edge here. Whoa, don't see what. The mouse doesn't stick within the game. Ooh. Okay. Eventually, the patient used a fork and he blinded himself. And 
While he was soaked in his blood from his sockets, he screamed to the entire hospital that he was free. He was safe. Then a week later, two more patients charged Clive with stalking them, even though he was confined to solitary. I mean, it's crazy. They, they took their eyesight, too. Oh, great. This pattern didn't stop. I thought it was BS, but based on what we've seen tonight, I don't pretty much believe anything. So, try to get the hell out of there, and if it gets too intense, try to shut your eyes. Oh, okay. Great. Damn flashlight broke. I can't use that anymore. Lovely. Shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh my god. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. I'm going. Oh my god, get me out of here. God, get me out. Well, there you go. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I really do appreciate it. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>